just purchased an Epic board, the Spartan. So now you're ready to set it up. So before you set it up, you want to make sure that all the accessories uh, came with the board. So let's start with uh, the pads. You have to make sure that you have a set of pads, a set of foot straps, a grab handle, a grab rail right here, and you should have uh, you, you should have uh, adhesive on the back of uh, the grab rail so you can stick it on the rail of the board and also uh, four fins, four centimeters YG tens. So all this should be with uh, the board. And also don't forget, you have a bag with six screws inside. Four of them are the long ones for the straps and the smaller ones will be for the grab handle right here. So now with the pads, you can see the pads are very comfortable pads very thick and very very friendly for your knees also you have a toe grab at the edge here that will help you grab the board better with your foot and make you very comfortable um, and here on each side of the pad you do have three settings so you can adjust the pads uh, the way you desire you can even make it more like angled or whatever you like depending on you and uh, those pads are really really comfortable then here you come and you have the foot straps. Those foot straps are very comfortable, very thick, and it won't hurt uh, your foot at all. Uh, they're also very easy to adjust with Velcro, and you can adjust uh, how uh, small or large you want the strap to be on your foot. Also, you can see here you have some easy lock settings. It's very easy to set up. You can set up this board in one uh, with one um, one hand actually. All you have to do is put one screw here, and it goes through that and you just hook them up right here on the board and depending also what kind of settings you want. But uh, these are anti-lock so it won't unscrew your uh, screws and they will always uh, make sure they're locked and they're very easy to set up. So those are the strap that comes with the boards and the pads. So I know you're in a hurry to set up the board so let's start setting up so you can enjoy um, being on the water and enjoy this board. Okay, now we're ready to set up uh, the Spartan board. Uh, we want to put the pads first and the straps on top of the board without screwing to see if everything is fine. So make sure first that you have the heel side on this way and the toe side on this side, okay? Because these are the inserts and that's how they should be looking. Um, if you turn this around, it's totally the opposite and that's not going to work, okay? So you want to make sure that the uh, the inserts are looking this way. So this is for the short stands. If you want to put narrow stands, you use the inside insert. And wider stands, you put the outside insert. Same thing on this side. Shorter stands, wider stands, okay? So right now, let's start. Um, I already put the uh, grab rail right here. The grab rail is a self-adhesive rail, so it comes with a package. All you have to do is remove the bottom, and it's self-adhesive, and then put it on it, stick it really nice, it will stick, but then for better security, you should grab uh, super glue or something and just go all around it so it won't move at all, okay? So you do this first. One, this is all set, and remember, you want to put it that way. So this is the highest part, and it goes down on the slope, okay? This is where you grab the board for flips, when you flip the board around, okay? So make sure you have this here. Now, once you're ready, Let's put uh, the left pad on, put it here. Then we're gonna put the left strap, there we go. Now make sure the strap is the white part is on the inside, okay, the white part. Um, and then you go on the right side, you put the pad and also the strap. Make sure the wider is on the inside uh, of the stands. I mean, okay, of course you can use this right side and put it right here and have the narrow on the inside it all works also but you'll feel more comfortable and your leg your foot will be able to come out of the foot strap much easier if you do it that way okay so we could do this then we grab the grab handle put it here and then we have the two fins right here and the other two one and two right here so we all set up now we are ready to go and start with let's start with the right strap Remove everything. 
So we can space and let's start here. Okay, make sure there's no rocks or sand or anything below because the play can scratch the board. So let's start with the right side. So I'm gonna use the, I like a white stand, so I'm gonna use these inserts, the white ones right here. So I put the right pad right here and I make sure, see, as you can see, you have three stands. I mean, you can put it that way or that way, but I like the middle, it's easier. So I put this right on top of it. You can see the insert, okay? And then I grab the strap and I like this. I already have the uh, screws inside, I already put them inside. Make sure it comes with two sets, uh, two sizes of uh, screws, uh, long and short, but you want to use long for the straps. Put them inside and make sure it goes through the, um, the material also. And it's very easy because this plastic makes uh, setting up the board, the strap, really easy because it bends. So that one hand I can do it. So put the screw right inside there. It's inside, take a screwdriver and fill it a little bit so it goes in. Okay, grab. Don't do it too much, just a little bit. You don't want it too much because you want to be able to turn the strap around. So it goes on the other side, see? Then, perfect. And then come here and make this opening to go right on top of the insert. Push it a little bit. Perfect. And make sure you don't tie it too much. Then, and same thing, make sure you put already the screw inside. And make sure it goes all the way here. Put the screw right inside there. Perfect. You can feel it's inside. And then take the screwdriver and start screwing. Right here. Okay, that's perfect. You don't want to tie too much because you want to be able to move the pad front and up until you find your settings. Once you find it, then you can tie it. Okay, let's go on the other side now and do the same thing here. You take the pad, the left pad, put on top, but make sure, I like wide stands, so it has to be on the wide. I mean, if you like short stands, then you needed to put on the short stands. But since I went wide stands, do the same thing on this side. Put it right here on top of the hole, grab the foot strap, the screws are already in, already put the screws in. Put right on top here. Remember, you wanna start from this corner on the inside because it's easier to put the strap. So you turn the strap around, put the screw inside, and I can feel it's inside, and then start screwing. You don't want it too, too tight, that's perfect. You just wanna catch. So then you can spin the strap around. Perfect. Then go on the other side and do the same thing, look for that hole, perfect, and then take the same thing and put it right on top here. Once inside, take a screwdriver and tighten it. Not too much, just a little bit, perfect, because you want to be able to move the pad up and down until you find your perfect stance. So once you're ready, step on the board, put your feet in, open the strap to make your perfect size. You can tie it by pulling or make it bigger. So let's make it perfectly. I want to be able to have my toes right. You can see those grab toes right here. I want my toes to be right on top of it. When it feels perfect, close the strap, go on the other side. Put your foot in, open it, make the size you want, perfect, close it, close this, my toes are right on top, so it really grabs, see, I can really feel. So then when my stands are perfect, it's time to tight those pads on the board really tight. Remove it, grab a screwdriver, come here, tight it, because those are perfect stands. Go on the other side, tie it really tight this time, you don't want it to move, and then go on the left side and do the same thing, tie it really tight, and then on the other side too, really tight, perfect, now they're pretty tight, they're good to go, let's do the grab handle, grab the grab handle, put it right here, this is screw here, you want to make sure it goes right on top of it. So let's put it right on top, or oh, I can feel it, it's in. So let's take the screwdriver and screw it in. Start screwing, you don't want it too tight. Then you go on this side and do the same thing. But this time you want to push the grab 
handle. You want to push it down so it moves to the hole. Push it down and put your thumb on so you can feel. Perfect. I can feel one inside. So then grab your screwdriver and start screwing. Make it tight this time because we're all set. Go on the other side and do the same thing. Perfect. Everything's tight. Now it's time to put the fins. So let's go on this side. We get these fins. We get one, two fins. And let's start putting the fins. Let's start on this side. Okay, we gotta remove the screws and the uh, washers. So you unscrew the screws out of the fins. Put it right in the hole here. Same thing. Now the screws are ready to go. And you wanna make sure now you put the screws inside these holes here. Now the fins has to go, of course, on the bottom, but make sure you don't want to set up the fins that direction. This is wrong, okay? You want to be looking like that. The thick part has to look on the tip, and the narrow part has to look on the inside, okay? So you go here, you lift the board, and you put the fin under it inside the holes. So make sure the uh, fins goes inside the hole. I meant the screws goes inside the hole. Perfect. Then go on the other side. Make sure it goes inside. Perfect. Then once inside, take the screwdriver and try to screw it pretty tight. You don't want this to be really, really tight. You just want to be tight enough because you don't want to make it really tight so it will strip the screws and the insert inside the fins. Perfect. It's not too tight, but it's perfectly. Then go on the acid side and do the same thing on this side. Remember, you want to turn the fin this way. The fin has to look this way. Remove the uh, screws and washers and do the same thing here, the same thing here, and the same thing here. Remember, you want the fins to look that way. Okay, so do the same thing. Okay, once you put the straps, grabs, grab handles, all that, and the fins, you just want to do a final test, so put your feet in. There we go. And test a little bit the board, we'll grab everything, how it feels. So it's pretty flexible, really nice. Jump if you want, perfect. Grab it, feel a grab handle, everything is perfect. The grab rail, let's see it, it works. Perfect. We're all set to go.